Hello, friends. Carrie Green here. I am so glad you're back with me today for The Morning Mindset. You are doing a great service, not just to yourself, but to the entire body of Christ by getting your mind aligned with the truth of God's Word. Because think this through for a moment. Scripture says that we are one with Christ. We are all members of the same body. And that illustration or, or word picture is given to help us understand how we work together to benefit the whole. And as you align your mind with the truth of God's word, and as I do it, we are benefiting each other because the entire body of Christ is growing and building itself up in love, as Ephesians chapter 3 says. So let's get going today. Our sponsor for today's episode is the Amazing Greats podcast. I think you're really going to enjoy this show if you'll take the time to check it out. The host, Rick, interviews people like Pat Boone, Fox News' Shannon Bream, NFL and NBA stars, all about their Christian life and journey. You can find it wherever you get podcasts or at AmazingGreats.net. And if you'd like to be a daily sponsor of The Morning Mindset, just like Amazing Greats, you can go to MorningMindsetMedia.com slash daily sponsor and also find that URL in the description of this episode. Okay, today we're going to be looking at John chapter 8, verses 48 through 51. Jesus has been speaking with really two groups of people. One is the Jewish leaders who have been very opposed to him and argumentative with him, and another group of people who have been leaning toward belief in him. And here we see those Jewish leaders rise up again, and they make a comment. The Jews answered him, are we not right in saying that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? Now, let's stop for a moment and understand what they're doing here. Jesus has just said he came from the Father. He has just said that anyone who hears his word and obeys it will be free from sin. And they are saying, when they say you're a Samaritan and have a demon, first off is that label Samaritan which is a racial slur. They are doing their best to cut him down and to make him seem irrelevant and as a man with no authority. And then they say, and you have a demon. That means they're claiming he's possessed. They're saying he is controlled and manipulated by the devil himself. So Jesus answers, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father and you dishonor me. Yet I do not seek my own glory. There is one who seeks it, and he is the judge. Truly, truly, I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, he will never see death. So Jesus doesn't get all in a tizzy. He doesn't strike him with lightning right away. He just says, you know, you can say I'm a demon all you want, but the fact of the matter is I'm not a demon. I am honoring the Father because I came from him, and you're dishonoring me. And what we can read between the lines right there is he's saying, so what does that say about you? What does that say about you if you're dishonoring me and the Father sent me? And then he continues and he's basically saying, in spite of all that, I'm not seeking my own glory. There is one who is seeking my glory. That's the Father. And he's the judge. He's the one who has glorified me, who will glorify me, who set me up to be the Messiah. And truly, truly, I say to you, because God himself has done this, anyone who keeps my word will never see death. Now, that's a huge promise, isn't it? What does he mean by that? Well, he's talking about receiving eternal life. He's not talking about avoiding an earthly death. He's talking about eternal death, spiritual death in hell, separated from God, condemned to suffer forever outside the presence of God. He's saying, you will never see that if you keep my word. So it's vitally important that we understand what it means to keep his word, isn't it? What it means is this. We must receive and believe what Jesus says about himself, which these Jewish leaders were not doing. He's saying, you've got to understand, I'm the Messiah. I've come to save people from their sins. And faith in me is obedience to my word. It's keeping my word by believing what I'm teaching you. Friends, I want to encourage you. Look through your life and see what are you leaning on? What are you depending on for your eternal destiny? Is it church attendance? 
Is it some sort of religious ritual that you do every month? Is it anything besides faith in Jesus alone? Our Lord and Father, we thank you so much that you sent Jesus. You put your stamp of authority on him and you honored him. You lifted him high that whoever would look to him would be drawn to you and forgiven. Lord, thank you for giving us the opportunity to believe in Jesus. Thank you for his teaching. Enable us to keep his word through faith in him and to teach others to do the same. Lord, help us live in your honor today. In Jesus' name. The Morning Mindset is a listener-fueled project. Find out how you can support what we're doing to spread the gospel further across the globe by going to morningmindsetmedia.com support.